Hi right, guys, we have a little 1.5 petrol Suzuki SX4 here today. Well, I'm on as I'm just going to show you. Fall codes P0420 catalyst system efficiency below threshold. And then the other one that we're more concerned about right now is the P0171. Uh, fuel system lean, it's not saying fuel, but system two lean, bank one. So what that's telling us is that the lambda sensor one, it's seeing a lean condition, which is caused by something. Um, data. I don't know if this thing kept its pids. It didn't it's a long term. Yeah. Okay. It's Alan from Data Diagnostic there. Yeah? Hello Alan. Hello. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, the total trim is, is an interesting yeah. number. What, what we're looking at here, anyway, is <laughs> that was higher there a second ago, second ago, and it actually isn't come back. That was seven. They're not massively off, yeah, maybe, but yeah, they're they're a bit off. We have total trim of 17, 18 here. Long term is 14.8. Short term at this point is zero, but it wasn't. It was seven. And eight. And what we are doing is we're suspecting an intake. Uh, well, first of all, we had a purge canister here, and we've locked it with a little small voice grip just to eliminate the purge solid out of it. But that is okay, or the evac solid light, that is okay. What we done then is we have propane, and we're sending it into the intake uh, around the intake manifold. And if this put up the propane there, if that stuff goes in here, what we're going to get is we're going to get a rich condition which in theory will make these fuel trims go the opposite way around, negative. It's actually adding fuel now because of the lean condition, which is... I'm going to that this heat expansion cause this uh, leak to close a bit. There we go. And our numbers have got better now. I just wonder now. Oh, it's been taken over here about 10 minutes. Yes. So there's what we're thinking is that it's either going to be a pipe in here or an intake manifold gasket or something like that. And what Alan is suggesting is that when the engine expands, that the leak that's there will get smaller. As well, if we wanted, we could probably bring up rev, engine revs to prove that it's a, an intake manifold leak. We bring up the engine revs, what will happen I is... did that already and they improved, the numbers improved. Okay, better. so that's kind of proven that we have, you know, a leak of some sort here. But we're going to throw in a bit of propane. Alan might throw in a bit of propane now and we'll just see if it may not do anything because these have gone back to zero. But will it change the long term... Maybe, possibly not. Yeah, you can actually see there it's going minus because it's seen the rich condition. Our total trim is down to seven. Our long term actually isn't, that isn't changing yet, but our, our total trim, because this is going negative, is getting smaller, okay? Mm -hmm. We're heading back down towards yeah, zero yeah. because of the propane getting in to the intake manifold. Okay, so that's just proven that we have an intake leak of some sort. We'll show you the find when we have, um, have it apart, okay? Okay guys, we have the intake manifold off of this little Suzuki. And what I'm going to show here is on the, we're going to call it cylinder number, it's actually one, because I'm upside down. On number one, you can see kind of a nice shiny ceiling surface, a bit brighter and cleaner down here. A little bit dull and dusky up here. This is cylinder number two. And here you can see on the bottom side of the intake manifold, which is the top of your screen here, it's kind of dull where it's not sealing very well. You can see up here, look, where it's getting a bit of a, a grab on the actual cylinder head itself. But from there back is where I'm classing our little problem. Um, over to this one, something similar. Shiny all the way around. Kind of loses a bit of its sealing point here. Here a little bit iffy and butty. Again, starting here, there's a nice shiny bit starting to come in the middle. And over here, something similar. Sealing very well along here, not so good here to here, up the top, actually sealing quite good as well. Here, you know, that little tab gone out of it might allow it to draw air in at that point. So I suppose what I'm showing is that the intake manifolds are, the gaskets are damaged. And in our far this video, all I'm trying to do is point out how you can use fuel trims to see or pinpoint how you have, have an intake manifold leak, vacuum leak, according as the revs go higher, the fuel trims will come back right quantity and percentage wise it's not as as big a problem but anyway that's it for this one the hint and tip i won't bother showing you going back the other with the manifolds in it but for this hint and tips fuel trims to check out an intake leak okay guys talk to you next cartoon peter kennedy signing out